Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel One on One, and we are back with another Blender Market giveaway. And this time they're giving away Burger Pie, which is a large library of different assets and add-ons, uh, tools, basically just a collection of different things that you can use to drastically improve your workflow. So uh, Burger Pie focuses on environment and architecture modeling. It introduces uh, tools for IV generation, scattering, and parametric objects via geometry nodes. Users can also create custom pie menus for their geometry nodes trees via Burger Pie's GeoPack tool. This offer comes with 20 high quality vegetation assets. So yeah, you can claim this right now and you can see some other stuff that was given away previously. There was better lighting, uh, divine cart, chat companion, population, retopo flow, and others. Uh, they're still one two three four other uh, gifts coming your way so make sure you subscribe turn on notif notifications so that you are not left out when this goes online so let's claim this i've already claimed it but i just want to show you what you're getting uh so you get 20 assets of a blender let's jump in and uh, i show you how you can use uh, this so if you download or if you purchase this you can get the version that works with that you have and also make sure you get the demo pack and uh, the bugger pie assets and uh, this this zip file as well after installing the add-on go to preferences and then search for bugger pie and uh, you can see if you if you get the geo pack just click on install and navigate where it is and uh, make sure you click on that as well you can also click on this to get the free library and uh, after that is done you should be able to access everything you can use j and you will access the bugger pie menu and uh, it will give you all the different tools that you can use but some of them are tools are just assets that you have to access via the asset browser so split your window and change that to asset browser and uh, if you have correctly installed the different packs you should be able to find the bugger pie modifier the demo pack and bugger pie assets and you can see we have vegetations that you can just drag and drop into your scene uh, we have uh, this this and i can see all of these assets have different parameters that you can adjust to make them look more different and uh, the great thing about this is that uh, now if i have this selected i can uh, let me first subdivide this a bit and uh, using the bugger pie tools i can use j and find the displace option and that will displace this ground and i can uh, just come here reduce the strength I can change this from mass grave to clouds uh, just bring in some randomness and now uh, with all these assets selected the grass and then finally the ground i can again use j and use the scatter option now that will just help me scatter and uh, that can make it easy for me to scatter objects in my scene so right now i'm looking at proxy so i can turn off the proxy and just look at the final render so there you can see the different assets are scattered and i can just add more if i want to so this is a great scattering feature you're not only limited to that you also have uh, this grass option again if you select it select the ground you can use j you can hold down j and and use the scatter option they also have this layer based feature that i can use to just disable some of the things i've added uh, now let's first look at how we can scatter this grass to make uh, make it look really dense uh, so i'm just going to reduce and increase my scattering just like that bring back some of the other stuff that i scattered and you can see what we have so that's not all if you use the j key you see you have access to these other things like uh, let's let's go out of this mode some of these only work if you have an object selected so you can create an array and i can even add another array to this uh, let's say a circle array and uh, you can see now can increase the number of rings and other features and uh, if you don't want that you can just remove that hit j again we have a circle array uh, that has its own parameters you can add a beam uh, with it will have its own parameters uh, you have uh, this ground this flow 
make it whatever you want. You can access the parameters here or you can just use uh, the parameters we have here. You can add cables. You can see how powerful this can be. You can use J again to add a beam and uh, it has its own parameters. Hit J, spiral, stairs, hit J, handrail. Yeah, this one you would have to draw. And again, this comes with its own parameters. Hit J, uh, fence, you have to draw this as well. So this is a collection of a lot of different assets. If you have installed the Bagapai modifier, you can see the different tools if you don't want to access them using the j function you can just drag them directly into your scene just like that uh, you have this beam or column you have extras and uh, if you are working with geometry nodes you have these nodes as well uh, like this random nodes custom node uh, there is this uh, geometry float switch so if you want to switch between different values uh, you have uh, this random, I think this is a random vector and there are some other shader nodes that you could use. Uh, these are the different fences uh, that you have access to. I have handrails, materials, roofs, roofs, stairs, and a lot more in the asset, in the bagger assets. So yeah, if you want to check that out, links are going to be in the description. You can get it for free uh, within the next 24 hours before they turn it back to a paid uh, add-on. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. And if you want to learn more geometry nodes, I uploaded a new tutorial about making a traffic simulation system using Blender. I know for some reason YouTube no longer sends notifications out to my subscribers. So if you're not seeing my videos anymore, I just make sure to go back and check that you are receiving notifications. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.